What's going on, guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to U.S. versus U.K. movie theater food, AMC versus Odeon. You know, it's been a while since I've actually been to a movie theater, probably about a year or so. When I was younger, I used to go to the movie theaters all the time, probably like once a month or so. Um, and, and I just always enjoyed the experience. You know, there's nothing like movie theater popcorn. Um, unfortunately, in the U.S. at least, I'm sure that you're going to have a hard time finding any healthy movie theater popcorn. They're probably always going to be chock full of this fake butter, this this uh, vegetable oil full of trans fat and whatnot, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same way in the UK. Like most of these food-related videos, uh, generally speaking, the UK probably uses better ingredients and the snacks and popcorn especially is probably going to be a little bit healthier for you than what you'd find in the US. Um, I definitely like the taste of the movie theater popcorn, but I know it's just not that healthy for me. You know, I really miss going to the theaters, um, you know, but when you have a four-year-old, you have to be careful about what movies you're gonna, gonna see. And it seems like since she's been born, um, they just really haven't had many good family-friendly movies available. We went and saw uh, Clifford, I think it was about a year or so ago, but that's the only time my daughter's actually been to a movie theater and she loved it and we've been wanting to go back, but they just never have any good movies available um, in my area at least. And so, um, but yeah, we definitely miss it, but we still do streaming, but it's not the same, you know, it just isn't, but there's nothing like movie theater snacks. You know, you can get some of these snacks, obviously, elsewhere at the store or whatever, but for some reason, they always taste so much better at a movie theater. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe you've experienced that too, but uh, anyways, guys, I don't know what to expect here, so let's just go ahead and dive in and check out U.S. versus U.K. movie theater food, AMC versus Odeon. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between movie theater food at AMC and Odeon movie theaters in the U.K. and the U.S. This is Food Wars. It might seem like Odeon and AMC are different chains, however, they're actually owned by the same company. Really? Popcorn mm. at a UK Odeon cinema comes in four sizes. There's a kids, regular, medium, and large. Classic popcorn at a US AMC comes in three sizes, small, regular, large. And of course, if you want to get a to-go option, they have the AMC <laughs> Mega Bag. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That's three times the size of the standard large. What? Let's weigh a large salted popcorn in both countries to see whose large is bigger. So our large salted popcorn has actually, I think, come to 204 grams, which is about 30 grams more than we were supposed to get. What? Okay, the first thing I notice is, look at the difference in color. Uh, does he not have butter on his popcorn? Or is it, is it our fake butter? Because I'm sure that's fake butter is extremely yellow compared to what he has. I am so confused on what is going on with the difference in this popcorn. It almost looks like he literally doesn't have butter. And I know there's no way you go to a theater and the popcorn doesn't have butter on it. That doesn't make any sense to me. But look at this. We actually have something for a change uh, that the American version actually is the smaller version. Not by much. It's basically the same thing, to be honest, but still. 194 grams of popcorn. Avatar. Haven't seen it. And for my own morbid curiosity, so I'm going to weigh it in the bag. I don't know. Just subtract, like, two grams. How much could the bag weigh? Yeah, not much. Yeah. Uh -huh. 620 grams. Drinks at a U.S. AMC wow. theater come in three sizes. Small, 20 fluid ounces. Regular, 32 fluid ounces, and the large Avatar, 44 fluid ounces. Now, shockingly, our drinks in the UK are actually just as big as the US ones for once. Cinemas, I think, are the only place wow. in the UK where you can get a drink of this size. The thought of getting one of these from a fast food place in the UK is absolutely unheard of. Let's measure out the large in both countries to see if we're getting as much as we've been promised. Wow, it's pretty close. What was it supposed to be, 44? By my calculations, wow. they've pretty much nailed bang on the 40 ounce line. So you're maybe not getting quite as much as you were promised. Admittedly, we did lose a little bit in transit and also a little splash just on the table there. So maybe you could round it up generously. That's to like surprising to me. Too, which honestly- Basically the same thing being promised so far on both the popcorn and the drinks. Certainly we can't wow. blame James Cameron for this. Certainly we can't blame the Navi of Pandora. 
We also have ice drinks, which are the iconic Tango Ice Blasts. We have them in three sizes, a regular, a medium, and a large. Tango Ice Blasts are amazing. They have a bit of a cult following in the UK, I think, like Cinema Goers over here really, really love these. You can get them usually in two flavors. Why is there so much missing? Blue. They must have exactly poured some out or something? Dog. It's kind of just like tangy food coloring anyway. They're not supposed to look like this, as you can probably tell. These have just been sat out under the studio lights for a while. Here's what they're supposed to look like. Oh, okay, you can also okay. Get oh, there ice we go. beverages at the USAMC, primarily right. in the form of an icy. And they come in three sizes normally, but not the AMC we went to. They only had regular. It should be a small 20 fluid ounce. The regular Avatar Way of the Water Navi colored drink here is a 32 fluid ounce. And of course, the large 44. is a 44 fluid ounce. I think that's the exact same size as the soft drinks we just had. I would like to request, I don't know how hard this is gonna be if Yuli and the rest of the post-production team can make it look like I'm in the underwater Avatar <laughs> with like me just swimming with the Navi, right? We I'm in the movie. How hard would that be? Can you make it 3D as well? That's pretty easy, right? Can you have that done by end of day Friday? Well, yeah. <laughs> when I'm swimming around with Jake Sully. <laughs> Here is everything you'll find at a UK Odeon cinema that you won't find in an AMC. Here's everything at a US AMC you won't find at an Odeon. We'll start with the classic, which is popcorn. In the UK, it comes in two flavors, as salted or sweet. You can also ask them to mix them together for you. Salt and sweet, excellent contrast. You won't find butter popcorn anywhere on the menu in the UK. Wait. The fact that you guys are putting melted butter on popcorn, extremely weird to us, stop doing that. Wait, what? So it's true. You guys don't have butter on your popcorn? Wow. That is, that is, that is a complete shock to me. I don't even think you can go, I don't think you can get popcorn without butter at the theater in, in the US. I, that would be new to me because it's generally all together. Um, I guess unless they set out some separately or something, I don't, I don't think you can. Um, but like, I can't imagine, why would I want my popcorn not to have butter? Uh, well, granted, like I said, the, the butter that they use is not, I'm very sure it's not actual butter is some sort of like, you know, fake butter stuff. Probably it tastes really good though. Um, but do you guys generally do that at home? Like if you make your own popcorn, you don't put butter on it. I can't imagine like, like if we make popcorn at home, yeah, man, we melt some butter and salt and pour that on there. Absolutely, man. Mix it up. There's nothing like butter popcorn. That's, that's wild me. That's something I did not expect at all. Wow, okay, that, that explains the color difference I was talking about just a few minutes ago. In the US, a popcorn obviously comes plain or salted, but we also have butter popcorn. Plain? And yes, Harry, I we didn't like know. to put melted butter yeah. all over. I didn't even know popcorn. plain was a thing Two at all. I want to know. On, One, theaters. it's almost always referred to as butter flavored topping. Okay, yeah. Presumably because they can't legally call it butter, or maybe there's other junk in right. there and it isn't officially butter. In America, there's just some people who are so nuts about the butter. AMC now has something, I don't know if this is to go, or you get this in the theater, where they give you, no joke, this thing of butter on the side to take into the theater with you. Because there's so much butter flavored <laughs> topping drama in the US, AMC was like, here, just take this and go, to, go do it yourself. <laughs> Oh, look at that. You see that? You see that? Oh, yeah. I want you, I want you to pay attention. Now, imagine I'm eating this in the dark. Oh, I like my butter so much. Oh, my hand. <laughs> this is like the messiest snack in the world. <laughs> I never get butter in my popcorn. This is so gross. Okay, that's gross, because I know that's not it butter. It tastes that much like butter. It has like a buttery flavor to it. Yeah, it's definitely flavored butter. That's not melted butter. You can also get... Now, I will say that I bet it's a little different, because, uh, you know, I really haven't been to the movie theater in a while, other than that one time. Uh, you know, I used to go, like I said, all the time. Um, and the butter popcorn was excellent. You know, like I said, I always... I don't ever eat plain popcorn. It's always got butter on it. Um, but uh, nowadays, I bet it is a little bit even worse than it was uh, for you. Um, so something to think about, but yeah, let's continue. 
sweets as a topping on your popcorn in the UK. This comes in the form of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Buttons, as Smarties, Kit Kat, wait, and Rolos. Wait, what? Speaking of popcorn, you can also get cheddar popcorn, which is, I don't know if this is just not at your theaters, really popular in the UK at all, but it's popcorn that is tossed in like cheese dust. And also caramel corn, which is popcorn you get. That's it's good. Encased in caramel. Yeah. There's a range of hot food options at a UK Odeon cinema, including the following. Firstly, we have the iconic cinema hot dog. Now, obviously you guys have hot dogs in America. However, it's an exclusive because ours is a pork sausage, while yours, I think, is beef. That looks real sad. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't look good. Oh, hot dog. Yay. It reminds me of a gas station. Size hot dog, right? No. Mm -mm. Movie theater hot dogs, for some reason, are really good. You know what I'm I disagree, man. All games. Nah, man. That's where the hot dog's the absolute best. Next up, we have two pizza options at UK Odeon Cinema. Mm -mm. A cheese pizza or a pepperoni pizza. I haven't even opened them and I'm losing my mind because this is how they've been packaged and presented to us. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? Um, I'm slightly at a loss for words. I might be giving them too much credit here. I think maybe if this were fresh out of the oven, which obviously this is not, it actually might be okay. But there's a reason why pizza boxes exist, for example. Maybe look into that in future. I'm just imagining any uh, Italian uh, no, no, no. watching this and just crying. You guys look at flatbread pizzas. The AMC I went to did not currently have them because I went there right when they opened. They weren't ready yet. But you can get also a four cheese, a pepperoni, or a supreme flatbed pizza. You can also get flat curly bed. fries. Now we're talking. <laughs> Curly fries, right? Mmm. The impossible nuggets. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. No. For some reason, I picked the marinara. Let's do it. Who doesn't want to eat fake deep fried meat? Ugh. Why? No. There is nothing that could get me to eat those fake soy chicken nuggets, man. No. No, no, no. If I, if I, I'm just saying like me personally, if I, for some reason, I love meat. I think meat is a very healthy part of a diet. And uh, yeah, I, I, there's all I have to say about that. But if for some reason I didn't, there's no way I would ever go towards that fake meat stuff. I'm, I would just basically just eat other stuff. Uh, that stuff, I've tried a couple of those. I can't remember why I tried it. They were somewhere and no, they do not at all tastes like a uh, like a chicken nugget. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. They don't have the same texture or anything. Um, but yeah, anyway. And dip it in a red sauce in a, in, a, in a pitch dark theater. See what he thinks. Nope. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really bad. Yeah. We have pretzel bites at our AMC, but you can get them unsalted with cheese, salted with cheese, which I got, garlic parmesan with cheese, everything bagel with cheese, and cinnamon sugar with icing. Cinnamon sugar with icing, that would be pretty good, I think. They don't taste bad, but they're really chewy. You're gonna want those right out of the oven, or the microwave. You can also get a Bavarian legend pretzel. The theater we went to did not have them. In what? The filming this. So it's okay, full? Odin, you can get triple yeah, like dip nachos, which are tortilla chips, which come with guacamole, salsa, and I think a cheese sauce. This is how it came. What we have is just a bag of plain tortilla chips and a box labeled dips. We have the cheese sauce. We have some very vibrant guacamole. That is very blended up. Very shit. vibrant. We have some tomato salsa, jalapenos. I think this was onion and chive dip, maybe. Hmm. I feel like I have to try and assemble these somehow. I want to do it in a way, but hopefully you guys can uh, join me along for the ride because. Could be interesting. I want to try and get yeah. some like layerage going on there, if possible. Uh, oh man! <laughs> oh no, that's the... <laughs> okay. I thought that all came out as one brick, but there were actually two pots in there. Thank God. Go on. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh okay, so... no. Okay. Now we're gonna hit it with some salsa. Oh no no. Hmm. Look. That's... Give me the salsa. Put it cheap in the cup. I'll take the chips, I'll dip it in the salsa, but you can have the cheese, man. Ugh, no, 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 no. But uh, 
I love these two as a team, man. They make such a good team with these food comparison videos. They really do. Definitely. I think this has gone sensationally well. Uh, jalapenos is, on chips? This is nachos right here. I've seen that before. It's not something I haven't seen, like but it's just like, it. I don't get it, man. Do you want to heat these up? It, cheese on tortilla chips? I don't get it. I don't. I know a lot of people do. Where they are. I don't get it. I'd put the guac on, on tortilla chips and the salsa, but cheese, no. Mm -mm. No. My mum used to like the nachos. She's not dead. I haven't been to the cinema with her in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah? They don't look terrible, right? Absolutely disgraceful. I don't know what's going on in that island of yours. <laughs> but your nachos, thumbs down. I would say pretty generous with the chips. Not bad, right? These are UK level nachos right here. I don't know who is like, oh yeah, perfect. This is exactly what I think nachos are. Did they make a mistake? Am I looking at this right? They gave us a thing of marinara sauce. I'm assuming this marinara is supposed to be salsa. Can you imagine? Wait, Can you just get that's true. Theater in the dark and you're watching a movie. Oh man, man, this salsa sure isn't very chunky. Oh well, man, I cannot no, wait to eat these nachos. No, what the? Oh, I'm so worried about the tree of life, Avatar 2. Oh, no. Oh. Like, what the hell? It's so bad, it's like oddly alluring. Does that make sense? This is terrible. I'm sorry. I'm going to do everyone a favor and throw this out. Yuck. Good idea. Then we're onto the sides. We have a couple of side options in the UK that you won't find in the Let's US. Let's do that with all Unfortunately, nachos. one of them we couldn't find today, which are crisper fries. That's just my like opinion. Thin slices of potato, which are fried. However, we could get our hands on these chicken strips, which are actually pretty good. Technically really? also included on the sides menu are the dips. So that includes basically everything that you would normally find on the nachos, including the side of jalapenos, the salsa dip, the cheese, the guacamole, and this cream cheese garlic and herb dip. We have one prepackaged popcorn option if you don't fancy the fresh stuff, which is this. Butterkissed toffee popcorn. I think this is kind of more similar to what you guys might expect from like caramel corn. Mm, in that's the what US. I was thinking, toffee. It's basically popcorn, but with an actual coating of just kind of like sugary, syrupy stuff. Right. Now the AMC has a bunch of snack options. That's really good. I can't think of what you call it, but like when you mix uh, like the toffee or the caramel type popcorn, like he's talking about, and it has peanuts mixed with it, uh, that's really good. I really like that. It's kind of like the sweet, salty type uh, combination. It's really good. Yeah, there's some sweet and salty something trail mix. Yeah. That you won't find in the UK, starting with these known as lifestyle snacks. I'm assuming they're meant to be a little bit healthier. Starting all the way down here, you have the planters sweet and yes. salty trail mix. Grass you want to, they want to call this healthier, and I guarantee you it's going to be uh it's gonna have coke uh cottonseed oil in it. Talk about unhealthy. Cottonseed oil. Uh, it, it annoys me every time I see something like that. It's like there's no reason for that except the manufacturers are obviously trying to be cheap and use a very cheap oil. They use cottonseed or they use soybean oil. Uh, they'll never use an oil that's actually good. Maybe some coconut oil, although that will give it a little bit of coconut flavor. Avocado oil, something like that would be much healthier. I don't know why. Well, I do know why because it's going to be more expensive. But yeah, anyway. Bed, jerky, jerky, grass fed, of grass fed. I don't know what wow. Rhythm, organic, white cheddar, cauliflower bites. Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. Yeah, I agree. No thanks. Chocolate chip cookies. You got uh, only three grams of sugar for the smart and sweet watermelon bites. Mango mm. sweet and tangy super snacks, dried mangoes, and uh, skinny dipped dark chocolate almonds. In addition to the. Uh, by the way, I wanted to say real quick do you know? I, I, like I said, I've only been to the movie theaters once in the last few years. So, um, you know, and I don't remember what the price is. I know they've gone up, but can you imagine? I bet this bag of uh, trail mix here is probably like eight bucks. It, honestly, you know, I remember like if you just got like a third, I think it was like a medium drink, like a 32 ounce drink. It was, man, what was that? Like six bucks or something. Uh, the popcorn is all everything, man. That's that's where movie theaters make their money, is through the snacks. Um, they actually don't make much money from showing the movies themselves, and that's why they not only try to uh, have a wide variety of snacks and try to sell you on those snacks quite a bit, uh, but they also charge an arm and a leg for them. And that's why they also police people coming, at least in American theaters, police people bringing in their own snacks and their pocketbooks and things like that because... They want you to have to go and pay for the snacks there because that truthfully is 
uh, the a big portion of their revenue. Mini super snacks, dried mangoes, and uh, skinny dipped dark chocolate almonds. In addition to the popcorn, we also have some sweets and chocolates, which I will go through now. Wine gums. Do you guys have wine gums in the wine US? Wine gums. I really like these. Never they're heard of an it. old person sweet. I still don't know exactly why they're called wine gums because I don't think they have wine in them. On top of the gummies themselves, they will have. Wait, like, I think I saw them on another video. On. I don't remember though. It's colors, been a long time. Flavors change according to the color. Red ones always the best, of course. A couple of uh, Cadbury dairy milk options. We have some mm. Cadbury caramel dairy milk nibbles. Dairy nibbles. milk giant buttons. Galaxy buttons. minstrels. So in the UK, we have dairy milk, which is owned by Cadbury, and then the Mars Corporation has their own brand of milk chocolate, which is called Galaxy. And this is basically Galaxy chocolate with a hard shell on the outside. These honestly are really- Wait, they're not both milk chocolate? I thought, you know, you basically have, you have dark chocolate, you have milk chocolate. There's other types of chocolate? I don't know, hmm. Really good. Cadbury 12 Bites. It's Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate, and it's kind of got this weird, like, swirled texture on the inside, so it lends itself to being quite like a flaky and almost like melt-in-your-mouth chocolate bar. They're pretty good. Wow. Aero Peppermint Bubbles. It's got this weird, like, aerated oh. texture in the middle, which is designed basically to I've seen a commercial on one of these videos I watched about that. I loved Milky Bar as a kid. Milky it's basically bar white chocolate, which I used to love when I was younger. I think as my palate has kind of evolved as I've gotten older, I don't really tolerate white chocolate like I used to, but... These are great, bit of a nostalgia mm. factor. And the last one we found today was Maltesers. I love a Malteser. I still don't fully understand what they are, <laughs> to be honest. What is the middle bit? It's not honeycomb, but it's got like a crunchy, almost honeycomb texture. Now it's not a pre -pack I think I know what he's talking about. Uh, what are they called? Are they called malt balls? Malt balls or something like that. We have something very similar to that. Probably not as good as this brand, I'm guessing. But one thing I'd like to say is that your other snacks like the packaged snacks seem so much better than what we have at the AMC at theaters that he just showed. I mean, like hands down, I would take these snacks over the ones he showed. Absolutely. Package option, but it is Except a Except the jerky. Option. I like the jerky. Pick and mix cups in the UK. Pick and mix is like a really iconic British thing, I think. Pick it's basically this notion of you go into a sweet shop, or in this case, a cinema, and they'll have lots of different pots or tubs of oh. candies. And you can go in with wow. a scoop, scoop a few, put them in, and create your own mixture of them. And then you pay so for one cup one at a particular time. one that you love, you can just have a cup full of that. Or you can go for some variety, mix it up a That's little bit. That's cool, like man. Day. The issue is when you're layering it, you end up just going one layer of thing at a time. I haven't assembled this very well. Couldn't get everything. Just grab yeah, the the thing is, you put a you put a few different things in there, and then you put your hand over it and shake it up, mix it up, and then continue putting other stuff in there, and then you would like have a mix. There's a bunch of stuff that I thought looked pretty good. Also, I think some classics here: Milk Duds, Junior Mints, the big box. Nah, I don't like Junior Mints. Any Snickers? Hey, Snickers. Where's the Goobers? Skittles. My teeth are already starting to hurt. Butterfingers, unwrapped minis. Where's the and Goobers, man? Sour. Patch Kids, and also Airhead Extremes. This, of course, is just the tip of the iceberg. You can get so, so oh, okay. many candies. You just didn't get AMC. the others. Eh, this many. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I wanted to see that. Hold on, where, let me see. They don't have the goobers here, man. The goobers are their chocolate covered peanuts. That is something I, I that is something I always get. Every time I'd go to a theater, I get chocolate covered peanuts. My uh, my wife would get uh, raisinets, which are chocolate covered raisins, and then some popcorn. Uh, that's for the most part what I usually would get. Benny. You can also get a Ben and Jerry's milkshake. What they do is they let you choose three scoops of ice cream really? you're choosing, and then pretty much just blend them together to create a milkshake. Mm. Also in the US, we have ice cream you can't get in the UK. You can get yourself a Dibs Crunch, a Hagen dazs Bar Almond, a Nestle Tolhaus ice cream sandwich, and a Nestle's drumstick. I'll take the drumstick. The other soft drink exclusives are actually aimed more at children. We have some fruit shoots, which come either as this one, which is apple and blackcurrant, or as orange. It's just kind of like a bottle of squash, and for the Americans who might not know what squash is, uh, does cordial help at all? You get like a concentrated what? juice. Oh wait, squash, oh yeah. To produce basically this. I remember seeing that on another I'm video. When it comes to drinks are these ones, which are the alcoholic options. You can get alcohol at UK cinema. What? We got a few of the things on offer today, and these include. You can get alcohol at the movie theater? I've never seen that before. 
Now, I have seen it um, where there's this complex, like we have one back uh, the town over from where I where I was raised, uh, where in one big complex there was movie theaters, bowling alley, arcade, um, a bar with uh, pool tables, um, a skating rink, and so you could buy. I think you could buy alcohol at the bar and and then take it over into the theater portion. I believe. But beyond that, I've never actually, like a standalone theater, I've never seen alcohol in a standalone theater. Maybe, I don't know if that's just an American thing, like overall, because I've been to numerous AMC theaters and I've never seen that. Uh, so I'm thinking that they just don't do that. Yet, it's the same, comp the same company owns both, right? So it's interesting how they, maybe there's something to do with um. American laws or something don't allow alcohol to be sold at theaters or something. Hmm. I know we obviously have a later, like you have to be older to buy alcohol legally. Maybe there's something to do. Maybe there's something to do with that. I don't know. This recorder leg, strawberry and lime cider. We have a bottle of Heineken beer. We have some Heineken. Got a little bottle of I like Heineken. Heineken. It's, really cute. it's literally just like they've taken a full size bottle of red and just squished it and scaled it down. You can also get white wine and I think rose wine as well. Or if you're in a celebratory mood, you get a little bottle of Prosecco. Oh my goodness. Then we have some pre-mixed cocktail at the, at the Today we've got a classic G&T and a Jack and Coke. What about the beverages? In the US, really? we have so, so many beverages, starting with the Coke Freestyle, the Freestyle machine. You've seen it before. It has all of these flavors. I wasn't getting one of each. You can also get a Gold Peak unsweetened Too many to tea, list. which they did not have, a Gold Peak sweet tea, which they also did not have, a Minimaid orange juice, and Minimate apple juice, chocolate milk, Dasani water, smart water, and a Costa coffee. They also didn't have that. Mm, I could really go for some coffee. I've been told that it is interesting that we can get Costa coffee here. It is actually a British coffee chain, but it was bought by Coca-Cola in 2019 for almost 4 billion pounds and has now begun expanding into the US. Hmm. A large salted popcorn at a UK Odeon contains the following. 863 calories, 48.37 grams of fat, of which 37.84 grams are saturated, 92.18 grams of carbs, of which 5.94 grams are sugars, and an unknown amount of sodium. Unfortunately- Okay, hold on, hold on. He says salted popcorn, and I, from what I understand, you guys don't butter your popcorn, right? Where's the fat coming from? It's just- Popcorn by itself shouldn't have that much fat, should it? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's literally half the amount, roughly, of the carbohydrates. That doesn't make any sense, but if you don't, I don't know. I have no clue how that, yeah, let's continue. Eight grams of carbs, of which 5.94 grams are sugars, and an unknown amount. I mean, obviously that's Unfortunately, the website probably. didn't have the sodium information. I did reach out via the live chat function, and the guy said they didn't know what had gone on. He was gonna look into it for me, but I did not hear back. A regular plain popcorn popped in canola oil is 550 calories, 24 grams of fat, two grams of saturated fat. I didn't know they served carbs, plain 1, popcorn. 380 milligrams of sodium. The same size popcorn, but this time cooked in coconut oil, 540 calories, 24 grams of fat. They cook in coconut grams oil. Of saturated fat, That's awesome. Four grams of carbs. That's so much better for you. Wow, I didn't know they did that. Of sodium. Now. There are no stats for the butter flavor topping, which is a bit concerning, but if you add butter and salt to pretzel bites, it adds 100 calories and 12 grams of fat, seven mm. grams of saturated fat, 300 milligrams of Don't sodium. Don't forget the trans fat, I'm sure, unfortunately. Adding that same amount of butter to this large avatar way of the water popcorn, which is cooked in canola oil, you get 970 calories, 51 grams of fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, <laughs> popcorn in my throat, 117 carbs, of which one gram is sugars, 2,450 <laughs> milligrams of sodium. Same exact size of popcorn, but this time cooked in coconut oil and the butter topping from before. That's 900. Man, there's a lot of choices. 50 grams of total fat, 35 grams of saturated fat, 117 carbs, of which one gram of that is sugars, and the sodium, 2,450. Okay, so. I just want to say real quick, a lot of this seems to have changed since I used to go to theaters, you know, all the time. 
you couldn't choose like a coconut oil versus canola oil versus butter versus non-butter. You would literally go up to the, the concession stand and you say, I want a popcorn and they have all the popcorn in this big uh, machine tub thing. I don't know with a glass, it's in like in a glass container and they fill up whatever size you got. That's it. It was no choice. You couldn't get plain popcorn or butter. Pop it was all butter popcorn. So I have n no idea when they decided to um, change this. And granted, I don't know if it's in every, every AMC. I'll just guess they've just, over the last couple of years, they must have changed it. Because honestly, I haven't been to an AMC in quite a while because I don't have one where I'm at now. So that the last theater I've been to um, is uh, not an AMC. It's more of a local chain. Um I think the last time I was actually going to an AMC, man, it may have been 2018, 2019. I don't know, something like that. Anyway. Milligrams. People of the internet. Canola oil has slightly more calories, but way less saturated fat. Huzzah. A large nah. sweet popcorn in the UK. I don't want canola. The following. 1,790 calories, 73.08 wow. grams of fat, of which 55 grams are saturated, 253 grams of carbs, of which 84.04 grams are sugars. Wow. And again, an unknown amount of sodium. Mmm. Gotta watch out for the caramel corn, Yulia. This caramel corn in this size bucket, 1,620 calories, 64 wow. grams of fat. 21 of those are saturated fat, 510 grams of carbs. And of that, 404 of those grams are sugar and 3,190 <laughs> milligrams of sodium. That's now, crazy. The large cheddar corn seen here, 1,620 calories, 144 total grams of fat, 21 of those are saturated, 68 grams of carbs, and 2,470 milligrams of sodium. Jeez. What about the most calorific thing on the UK menu? Well, that would be a large sweet popcorn with the topping option of Dairy Milk Giant Buttons. I don't get that. So you can actually get a topping. Do they actually put it in the popcorn? I, again, I don't think that's something that we have here in the U.S. where you can actually add toppings like like something like this to your popcorn. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I guess it would, I mean, it would, it would melt and I guess it would just create a chocolatey covered popcorn. I don't know. This combination would come to a total of 2,004 calories, 85.08 wow. grams of That's fat. That's getting close to a, a full day of eating for some people calorie-wise. Of, of which 106.44 grams are sugars. That yeah. is just over 100% of your daily calories, 109% of your daily fat, 311% of your daily saturates, and 212% of your daily sugar. Jeez. <laughs> So in the US, our AMC menus vary. I did find a PDF that had a bunch of stuff listed on here. I don't know how common it is at AMC's, but it is the Bavarian Legend Pretzel. So it's got- With the cheese cup and mustard. That Wait. pretzel Ooh. and mustard and cheese total is 1,920 calories. Wow. What I want to point out is that 7,600 milligrams of sodium. Wow. That is 330.4% of your daily sodium intake. Hey, don't eat that pretzel. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, Yuli's gonna try and land one in my mouth. If she chips a tooth, okay, she's gonna have to pay for it. Ready to go. <laughs> oh man, guys, these were, uh, this was really interesting. Um, very surprising, actually, on both both uh, theaters. You know, like there's some definite new things about the popcorn here that I I've never experienced. You know, you could you literally could only get just straight butter popcorn. Last time I ever went to any theater I've ever gone to, not just to AMC, but to any theater I've ever been to, you could only ever get butter popcorn. So I don't understand when this whole transition to being able to offer plain or whatever happened, but that's interesting. That's good to give other people options. Granted, I would only get the buttered popcorn, so it wouldn't affect me anyway, either way, but I'm glad to see they're actually cooking in something besides uh, canola, actually coconut oil, it seems like time to time. That's a decent oil to cook in, so uh, good deal, man. Um, but... Overall, this was just, uh, I got to say, I, I for the snacks, 
outside of the popcorn, because I definitely like butter on my popcorn, but the snack choices by far, I would choose the snack choices in the UK, UK movie theaters. Um, popcorn, I'll stick with the um, American version because I definitely have to have pop butter on my popcorn. I don't have to have butter on my popcorn, but man, I it makes it so much better. If I have the option, I'm going to do it. Um, now, if I was going to eat that stuff on a regular basis, I'd probably stay away from the butter because I know it's not real butter. But for the occasional treat, ever you know, whenever you go to a movie theater, all right, yeah, let's get it. Um, but that is really surprising to me that supposedly you guys in the UK do not put butter on your popcorn. They don't even offer it at the theater. That's crazy. They offer a sweet popcorn, but they don't offer butter popcorn. I would have never guessed that in a million years because I've I've never known that to be uh, I've never known them to offer anything other than that. So, uh, like I said, that's just really interesting to me. But overall, guys, I thought this was really fascinating, and it seems like um, there's just such a wide variety on both of these theaters that I don't even remember. Maybe because, generally speaking, I would always go get the same few few items, so I didn't really you know, look for the slushies or anything like that. So um, I just never noticed them maybe before. Or it looks like they changed a lot. Um, so, uh, but I thought this was cool, guys. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.